Hi guys and welcome back. So I am finally continuing on with my Hiroyuki Takahashi inspired series. I am doing a series based off of the work that he does, a lot of his artwork. Um, it's very popular and I am so in love. So I wanted to bring you guys this unique and fun series just to kind of break up from the normal kind of looks that everyone's doing right now. Um, this one is from the Hypersonic Music Club and the character's name I believe is A Love and this particular character was debuted at a Vocaloid event in Shibuya and honestly is one of my favorites. I really love the overall look of the character. She is fun and quirky and I just love her. Um, obviously she has a lot tanner skin than I do, obviously because everyone is tanner than me. Um, but I decided to go with my natural skin tone, I was kind of debating about that. Um, so yeah, she's obviously a lot tanner than I am. Um, and I did alter it uh, to fit my particular eye shape. Um, all the products will be listed in this video. But if you do not have these particular products, don't worry. You can always use similar products that you have laying around the house. It's very simple, very easy, and very fun to do. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Also, before I go, I want to share with you guys this awesome shirt that I got from Pink Mint. And it says Popcorn Unicorn Glitter. And it is part of their amazing line of really awesome clothing that they have. I'm going to have their link below where you can check them out. Um, I absolutely love everything they have. And their clothes are amazing quality. And I love this. I got a extra large in this shirt. And I usually wear like a bigger size. So the fact that this fits me and it's really comfortable, I am so in love with. So definitely check it out. They have some really, really cute shirts. And I mean... It has two, three of the most important things in life. Popcorn, unicorns, and glitter. What more could you want? And of course they have lots of other shirts and shorts that they have different sayings on. So check them out. They're really fun, really quirky, and I love them. So check out Pink Mint. <laughs> Anyways, enough blabbing and on with the tutorial. So I already applied a primer all over my lid and I'm just going to go with a white base. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Scandalized um, Eye Pencil in Witness White and just apply that all over my lid for a nice white base. The first color I'm going to use is Skulls from Kat Von D's Mi Vida Loca palette and I'm going to grab the white which is Skulls. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of my lid and kind of blend up a little bit. And I'm bringing that a little bit down on my lower lash line as well. And then for the rest of the lid, I'm going to be taking a mixture of Misfit and Vinyl, which are these two really pretty greens. One's a more lime green and one's a more true green. And it's going to give me the perfect green that I want for the rest of my lid. So I'm just going to take mainly Vinyl, but a little dab of Misfit just to kind of darken it. And apply that to my lid. Now I is pretty much done. I am going to be lining it. I'm going to be doing a double wing up at the top on the top lash line and then connecting it down on the bottom and creating three little fake lashes. To do that, I'm going to be using a really thin eyeliner pencil and this is the Absolute New York Nano Liner Liquid Liner. And this is amazing for doing little details.
then for this side I'm gonna be copying the little heart but on this side it is white so I'm taking um, this I'm taking my wolf face and art essentials palette which is like this has a whole bunch of face paints in it if you don't have any face paints you can obviously use eyeshadow it's up to you but I'm gonna be taking the white and I'm going to be making the little heart on my cheek And then on this side has a little orange star up at the top. So I'm going to be adding that with the orange paint. Some purple and do two little purple dots on the side. And doing the same method with the purple, just wetting the brush and getting the product onto the brush. Nothing fancy really. Doing two little dots. Alright, and I have just added a blonde wig and I added some spiked hair accessories. Just added two little spiked headbands. Um, for the rest of the look, I'm going to finish off with the lips, and I'm going to be using first the Flower Morning Glory, and this is just a really nice nude color. And then right in the center of the lips, I want a little bit of an orange tint, so I have this J Cat Beauty um, lipstick in Gooseberries, and it's just a nude color but it has more of an orange tone to it that is it for the look i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you have not um i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one bye